it's Remy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you guys with a back to school lunch video. You guys requested this so much. If you guys missed it, I actually did a DIY breakfast as well, which I will leave linked down below if you guys want to check that out. These lunches are awesome. They are on the healthier side, which I've been trying to live a healthier lifestyle lately, which has been awesome. Just a disclaimer, I know there's a lot of healthier things out there, but these are awesome if you just want to prepare them and then take them and grab them on the go when you're like living your busy life. And yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more cooking videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll be sure to do more for you guys and also please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm getting so close to 2 million subscribers, which is insane. Thank you guys so, so much. And yeah, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with these turkey bento boxes. So this lunch is made up with a turkey wrap and then also a few extra sides, but this is really awesome because it's really customizable. Now for my wrap, I'm just starting off by taking some romaine hearts and just cutting those up and those are going to lay on the inside along with some tomato slices. I love Roma tomatoes, so I'm cutting some thick slices of that as well as some cucumbers because I personally love them. I think they're really refreshing and just adds a nice crunch. Now that our veggies are ready, we can move on to the actual wrap part. So I'm taking a really big flour tortilla and I'm putting on some veganaise, which is some vegan mayo, which is so good. And then I'm laying in my turkey slices, but again, you can add in whatever you want. If you wanna just keep it with veggies, you can totally just leave those in. Some grilled eggplant would be really good. And you can really just add whatever you want in there. So add in all your stuff and then give it a nice roll. And then from there, we just chop it in half and then chop them into little slices that almost look like little pieces of sushi. And then I put them in this little box that I got from Amazon. It's actually made for meal prepping, but it's perfect to take for lunch. And then in the other compartments, I decided to put in some cherries and some cucumber slices. But again, you can throw in whatever you want in there. This is awesome to take on the go. It's super fresh, delicious, and just perfect for lunch. Next up, we have this delicious quinoa salad, which is kind of giving me chipotle vibes. So for this, we're gonna start off with some quinoa. Now I am lazy and I just have this pre-made quinoa that you just pop in the microwave from Trader Joe's, but you can totally make it from like scratch if you want. So I cooked the quinoa, put that to the side and we're gonna let that cool down. And in the meantime, we can chop up everything else that's going in the salad. So I have cherry tomatoes, I have cucumbers and I have some avocado. So this is totally all personal preference, but for me, I chopped my cherry tomatoes in half. I quartered my quinoa cucumbers and then I just made the avocados into like little chunks. So once that was done, I added in a can of drained black beans into my quinoa and gave that a good mix and followed up with some arugula as well, which I love arugula. It adds a really nice peppery bite. Then I threw in the cucumbers and the tomatoes and then also followed up with a little bit of some shredded cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and then gave that all a good mix. And then last but not least, I just put in my avocado. You want to wait until the very last step to do this because you don't want to overmix it and let the avocado break up because I don't know about you guys, but I love having nice big chunks of avocado in my salad. So then I just transferred some to a bowl and that is it. It is the perfect lunch to take on the go. You can throw it in a mason jar and throw it in your backpack or wherever you're going and you are good to go. Moving on, we have shrimp avocado salad, which is kind of like a take on just like normal chicken salads or things like that that are really mayo based. So this recipe is definitely on the healthier side. I'm going to start by just chopping up a little bit of an onion, just really nice and finely into like little dices. And then I'm also gonna chop up a red bell pepper into also just like little slices. And once those are chopped, I'm also gonna chop up a spring onion or a scallion or a green onion, whatever you wanna call it, but I'm a huge fan of these. And I'm also chopping up about 10 cocktail shrimp or basically just shrimp that's already been deveined and pre-cooked. Then in a bowl, I'm gonna take an avocado and place it in there and then start giving it a good mash. The avocado is actually taking the place of the mayo in a normal like salad sandwich where it's normally very unhealthy. This acts as a nice binder. It's really creamy, it has good fats and it's delicious. So then obviously I'm just throwing in all of my ingredients that I chopped up and giving that a good mix. And the fun thing with this recipe is you don't have to use shrimp if you don't like shrimp. You can use chicken if you want it to be like a normal chicken salad sandwich. You can use tuna, you can use salmon, whatever you wanna do, or even like roasted veggies. And then to serve our shrimp avocado salad, I put it on an open face English muffin with some spinach and then a couple scoops of it followed up with some seasoning and that is it. Moving on, we have one of the easiest things in the world and it requires no cooking, which is great. This is a tomato caprese salad. So I'm starting off by just prepping up all my ingredients. I have some basil, which is my favorite herb in the entire world. So I'm just rolling that up and then giving that a nice slice. So I have some nice 
thin slices of basil, and then I'm moving on to my mozzarella cheese, which is so incredibly delicious. And actually, more recently, I have not been eating dairy, so my friend ate this one for me, and he loved it. Then I threw in some spring greens into a bowl, topped it with some cherry tomatoes, some mozzarella chunks, followed by the basil, and then gave it a good drizzle of some olive oil, as well as some balsamic glaze, which you can totally just use plain balsamic vinegar if you have that. And that is it. This is seriously the easiest thing in the world. It takes like two minutes to make, so easy to prepare and take on the go with you and that is it. And last but not least, we have one of my favorite things in the entire world. These are spring rolls. So I started off by just preparing all of my ingredients for the insides. I have avocado and shrimp, some purple cabbage, some carrots. You can add in whatever you want. That is the best part about spring rolls. Obviously, if you guys have ever had them, then you know that they always kind of vary. So along with my veggies and everything, I also prepared some vermicelli, which I believe are rice noodles. And I just put them in some hot water. And then I also made a peanut sauce, which I made by just mixing some coconut aminos, some hot water, and some peanut butter. And for the actual spring rolls, I found these brown rice paper spring roll wrapper things at the store, and I'm just soaking them in some warm water until they become malleable. Then I'm rolling them out and then putting all of my toppings on the inside. So again, I had some shrimp, some avocado, carrots, red cabbage. You can add in like normal lettuce. You can do whatever you want. And then you just roll it up almost like a Subway sandwich. You like fold it over, fold the sides, and then keep rolling it. Now, let me just say with these, practice definitely makes perfect. I've been practicing for so, so long, and I still can't get them down all the way to be completely honest but either way they are delicious I just cut them in half serve them with the peanut sauce and they are amazing I love that you can really put whatever you want on the inside they're nice and healthy and just all around amazing so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if any of you recreate any of these lunches please be sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram and snap me and all that stuff I love seeing when you guys recreate the recipes again be sure to give this a big thumbs up if you guys liked it and subscribe if you haven't already thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!